Hello, we're going to demonstrate the Music Reaper, this time with the classical music CD. Uh, classical music, it's a bit more tricky than pop rock because of the complexity of the metadata you need, composition, composers, etc. So let's see how we're going to do that with the suite. So we have three data sources available, free DB, Amazon and the clipboard. So when we loaded the CD, the CDs are not identified. And first we should go to FreeDB, try to find it. We found it. And its CD ID is here. Then Amazon get data. And I know it's Beethoven Street Quartet by Dalic. I know it's this guy because this is the integral. You can also press here browse selection and you will bring the page. Here it has an ASIN number which is also the unique identifier for CD in Amazon or book. So if you press Ctrl C copy it and then when you say get data paste this ID you will find it as well. So sometimes if you cannot find a CD you can go with Google and, and find it and then you just can use the ASCII number to bring it within the suite. And the third uh, possible is the clipboard. Uh, we could use anything. Let's make an example with iTunes. iTunes use another data source, GraceNote, which is very similar to FreeDB. But just illustrate the clipboard passing. So here it recognizes CD as well. Let's highlight all lines, Control A, and copy. This will copy this text. And then we go here to clipboard and say get data. So it showed the text in a grid, but there is no information as far as what is what. So you have to, let's say I know for sure, this is the name and title. So you drag the columns on top. Here is the artist. This is the album number, the album, and this looks like the genre. You don't have to do that every time. It will save that for the next time around. So whatever columns you have, it will keep it. So when you say proceed, you have some warning because you have some blank space on the column. That's no problem. And here it came. So now you have this data available as well. It doesn't have to come from iTunes, it can be anything. If you have a web page, you cannot find the CD, well, j you just format the text and just map the columns and you can bring it within the suite. Let's see for a second what we have as tags. Unfortunately for classical music, the quality of metadata is very mediocre and inconsistent. Even within the iTunes, the composer was missing and it's part of the title. So, unfortunately, you have to do manual entry a bit, but we provide all the best possible tools to speed it up, but there's no way around it. The Amazon data source uh, works with a different logic than FreeDB or the clipboard like the iTunes ones. Here you have a box set, so it's not CD by CD identification, it's the entire box set. As you see, you have disk one and the track number here and you'll have to group by disk number you see this one and contract as you can see you have the five cds of this uh, box set and in this case i know i have disks three so let's see what which one we're going to use another unique feature of music suite is you can when you say update tag bring metadata information in your grid you can choose certain columns only so you don't have to bring the whole thing maybe in one data source the name is better but maybe you have the composer and you want only the composer so you have complete flexibility as far as choosing which column is the best it looks this time that Amazon has the better metadata here so let's look let's highlight these three and update tag all and it brings the cover and things 
And as an example here, free db, you see in artist you have the composer. So that's an imp information that's worth having. So we'll say update tag this time only certain column and let's say we take artist and the composer will be written. So this is how you fill up your grid with the various data sources. Now for the next video we're going to see how we complete the tagging of the CD. Thank you.